So it's it's it is pricey, I would say so. But uh yeah, message me on Discord. It is pricey, but I think people that go there will not regret. Last year was amazing. NAC that is. This is not NAC, this is NAC. So it might be different, but I think it's still gonna be somewhat similar. Not how yeah, let's let's start stuff faffing about. Let's play properly. Too much meme strategies. After losing three times in a row, I need to not do those stupid sh stuff anymore as well. Get one win on the board and then we go back to memes. Also, Hans are Hans. They're fun to play properly. Hans might be the most fun to save, fun save to play. Completely meta. Also, keep in mind the food and drinks are. Last time it was only pizza. This time there's gonna be different food as well. But don't take my word for it. I don't actually know for 100% that it's including food and drinks. But I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. I think I read it in a comment from one of them. It's fun because you don't have to build houses. That's only part of it. But the fun comes in how dynamic the sieve is. Such a dynamic sieve. You can do anything in the opening, anything in the mid game. Not anything in the late game, but until then. Where be, my dear? You're sapping out multiple T's with Hansa all over the map. You don't even need T's, just build. Just have a lumber camp and a mining camp, and you can build cow arches for days. Where are my deer even? Ah, oh, they're down there. Sedge. What save is he? Aztecs. I'm gonna try and play a bit of a bigger fuel edge here. I'm still OP on Nomad maps. Were they ever OP on Nomad maps? Are you saying that they're OP because of that, uh, the horse? You're not a good salesperson, no offense. <laughs> All good, none taken. I saw a deer here, what? Okay. I was starting to get confused. None taken, sir. I'll have to double check all the details, though. Make sure I didn't tell you guys wrong information. Use open scouts into archers. I think that's the, the winning formula. These Aztecs though, could do a drush, so maybe no loom is risky. But I like no loom. I like to live on the edge. You also play a range into stable. It's also an option here, in case he goes infantry opening. Let's do loom, just in case. Cab rush is always good, anywhere. Always. Do I push the last deer now? I think I do. I have all my bills in the same area, so if there is a drush coming on my arms, I have bills to fight with. Classic stable into double range. It's an option. I'm kind of thinking range into stable as well. But yeah, I think we're more geared towards stable opening here. Wall is quite forward though. We actually have a quite nice map to wall. 
we were really committed to that. Cage near wooden mill. Yeah, good. You're right. You were right about that. Hans was asked, was this 2011? Oof, I miss those days, man. Actually, Hun War is maybe something I'm missing. It was still like, in terms of mirror matchups, Huns against Huns is probably also the most dynamic and fun because of how much, how many possibilities there are in said matchup. It's a relatively quick up, which makes me think it's not. I mean, it could be man of arms still. His score is also fairly high, but that could just be the eagle scouting. Berk range. Okay. We'll do a relatively quick range follow up as well. After like four farms, we'll add a range. Do you think you'd beat yourself 2011 in the Hunts War? Yeah, 2011 version for sure. But maybe like my 2016. Arabia Hans War player is better. I don't know. Okay, time for range. Don't know why this guy's going that way. Doubting his tattoo so much. What so much are they playing? I don't know what so much they're playing, but uh, no, I probably won't cast it. Egalus! It's gonna hoover. Need to confirm what range units he has. It's quite important. He has released them. Did he release them on the other side? Why are you going there? It's archers. Okay. There's castle, there's Egalos. I'm not sure how many units I need to engage that. We're gonna save for fletching and assume that what we have otherwise is gonna be fine. Six, seven archers. They go back? No. Mm, it's out on the map. Which is a little bit confusing. He did not run back. He must have run forward. I'm confused. I saw ya! Where did he go? Look at this cheeky guy. He doesn't even have fletching. Okay, he's trying to fast castle as a follow-up, I think. He has no upgrades, right? That's why it feels like a fast castle as well. But obviously could be wrong. But I think I want to go heavy fuel ledge. So we'll do even another... We'll do armor upgrade, and we'll do another stable as well. Why did the archer stop? Why did the archer stop? 
that's a lot of units. My armor is almost in. I think this is completely fine. Just snipe the spear and then we're crushing this fight. I have two minutes skirms. That was a very ambitious for him. Obviously the, the scout armor came in at a really good time. For me. That's also a good sign for me, because that means he did not go um, fast castle. Which was kind of what we were maybe a little bit concerned about. But yeah, the production of Agalos is hurting. JJ. I have a second stable, I could always decide if I want to start using it or not. Still me or those Egalos feel slightly underwhelming in Fuelage. Yeah, they're not great in Fuelage, except against like maybe Skirms. Against Archers, in the right numbers they can be okay, but they're just slow and awkward. They're slow and awkward uh, in terms of engaging and disengaging and all that stuff. And you always get caught by scouts, right? Scout are just a better unit in Fuelage. It's very tough to play. Um, again, I, I feel like Mesosavis in particular, maybe not Incas, mine's not so much either, but Aztecs, they suffer a lot in Fuelage. Actually, Mesosavis in general suffer in Fuelage against the other top tier economy civs. <laughs> 